Okay. Um, we're standing out here in front of the White Rose Palace. Uh, we're gonna be meeting with uh, King Fendelor White Rose, and um, yeah, we're gonna have a little interview and like uh, you know stuff like that and stuff. So um, uh, welcome to CBC News. I'm your newscaster, um, Elias, and um, we have our dear recording man, Dreyvark here. And um, yeah, let's just uh, go inside. And he should be in his office right now. So we're gonna be asking a couple of a couple of questions. So, and uh, yeah, see so, yeah, how things go. Hello. Okay. Are you ready for this interview? Hello. Yes. Okay, good. So, um, Fendlaw, um, there's been uh, stuff about a triarchy between Credia, um, Lennox, and what was it? Holger? House. Okay, okay, yeah, so there's been, like, stuff about that. And, um, what, what's, like, your general view on that? Like, what do you think? I, I, I don't want a triarchy to happen. In fact, actually, I forbid it. Okay. Um, are there, like, it's, any reasons, right? Or is it just, you know? It's complicated bureaucracy that makes everything harder. We, and we also have not really figured out how the diarchy is going to work. So in my opinion, before we even consider the possibility of a triarchy with any other nation, we need to like figure out how the diarchy is going to work before we add okay. a third party. And also, hmm? go ahead, go ahead. Oh no, no, just fin finish, just finish. And also, it's just like it, it, it the, the the nation has we've had previous tensions with Malga before. And uh, it's never been good. Okay. We had some. They had someone who was kind of like a spy slash double crosser. Yeah, we okay. we we couldn't trust them. Okay. And um, what would like the triarchy include? Like, what would it really mean if it were to happen? Of course, but like, what would it change? Uh. Uh, it would change the way the power structures work. So, um, the 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 nation would combine the diarchy of petals would combine to make a tri like a like a uh, triarchy, mm -hmm. and the government would consist of three different nations that would switch. I think usually in stoneworks, a triarchy works where one nation has control, and then the next month another nation has control, and then the next month Oops, another nation has control. There's also usually there's also usually like a chancellor represented by each nation. Uh, it's it's complicated. Honestly, it makes more sense in my mind to just be part of the United Crowns of Siltor and kind of disregard the diarchy and the triarchy. But I guess people want a diarchy, and it was it was formed before I even ascended the throne. So I'm kind of just honoring the oath that my forefather made. Okay. Yeah, that's uh, reasonable. Who owns? Was it the uh, Halge? Who uh, who owns it? Okay, yeah. Who? Um, his name is Big. The Big People. Oh, okay. Um, so um, on to a like a uh, new topic. What are like the plans for Stravaphilos? Because I know you you have like a lot planned. And um, there should actually be one, like, right outside right now. Right? Yeah. You, would you like me to show you? Yeah, basically. Yeah, sure. Basically, we are going to, we are going to be building... I'll show you. Follow me. Basically, we're going to be building... Um, a couple of things outside. Um, in front, you'll see, recently I have built these beautiful gardens. They are actually not complete. Uh, there's going to be a wedding gazebo over there, where weddings can take place. Oh, okay. Wink, wink. 
Anyways, <clears throat> continue this way. To King's Road, which I'm gonna name this road right here, to, uh, leading up to the Ark. It's under construction. It's the Ark of Critia, which I'm gonna call the Ark of Critia. It's its official name. Um, hmm. We are basically uh, bet bet I pops built this as a gift for me. Oh, okay. And um, he gave me the light medical file. So I'm just recreating where he built both in creative, and then he just gave me the light medical file. Um, we are going to have a new parliament building over here, um, across this way. Uh, we are going to have the holy church of Ranner all over this pool of water, where all kings will be coronated, and all religious ceremonies will happen within Kredia for Vrannerism. Um, it's going to be building from Game of Thrones. If you've ever watched Game of Thrones, there is a building called the Sept of Baylor. That's what it's going to look like. Um, a new parliament building is going to be constructed over here. Um, uh, Downing Street, which is where the Prime Minister in IRL England lives, is going to be constructed over here. Um, we are also going to have a university. Um, Cretan Ice Boating um, Team... Uh, uh, Building. We're also going to have uh, the Cretan Broadcasting Channel um, headquarters here with the, with the newscasting room. Um, we'll, all, we'll, we'll have a couple more things like uh, restaurant shops, a mall, market, you know, all those kind of things over here. Mm. And um, how long do you, would you say that, um, let's just say, all of these projects would uh, take? How long? I'd say about a month or two. Really? Okay. So um, uh, it's something to like expect. Yeah, in about a month, I think a lot of this will be will, will be finished. Okay, sounds great. Sounds great. And um, um, so another topic that um, I am also particularly interested in. What's like um our stance with Valmont? Because, um, Valmont. one of the, mm, yes. So, Valmont is supposed to be owned, it's technically supposed to be owned by Samai, but it's owned by his friend. And a lot of them, I think, are inactive. And we, uh, basically, if we just need someone to get into the Valmont claim and convince the owner to give it to them, since they've done nothing with it, uh, and, uh, um, you know, the first person to do that, I will give them the title of the Duke of Valmont, and they can build and upgrade Valmont, hopefully. That's, I, I, that's what I would like. Either that, or we integrate Valmont, integrate Valmont into Rathenia, which will be a religious center on the coast. Okay. I mean, yeah, that makes sense. And, um... Now, we're kind of changing subjects, like, a lot, I know, but, um, you've talked about, um, establishing, um, a parliament. Can you please, um, describe how that works? Yes, I will. So, basically, um, in the works, I would like to establish a government that is for the people and by the people. Um, but obviously with the monarch at the head of state and my trusted nobles that have guided this nation for as long as I can remember, mm -hmm. um, I would like every town to vote for representatives that go to a common council called the members of uh, commons. They'll be members of parliament. They can vote uh, to pass laws with majority vote, obviously, which will be sent to the king. Um, and the House of Lords for review, and it can okay. either be rejected or accepted. All right. Um, um, so and instead I of the a... chance, we would have a prime minister. Okay. But um, so I have a couple of questions. First of all, what would happen? Mm -hmm. What would happen to the governing council? Would uh, it simply be removed, or? Well, a lot of them. A lot of them. Were no, uh, well, uh, there'd be a government. The government would be in 
in place until we would uh, be able to get elections. Um, I don't intend on removing anyone in the governing council from government. It would either be they, they transfer to the House of Lords or they get elected in the House of Commons. That would be basically the, the gist of that. Okay. And um, second of all, um, what would the difference between the power of the former Lord Sardin known as Chancellor and uh, the new one, Prime Minister, what would, is there like any power difference? Not really, besides the fact that the, the Prime Minister is um, chosen by the King, but voted for by the people, if that makes sense. Okay. Um, can so you elaborate? So basically how it works is you vote for a minute. You vote for a prime. You vote for a minister. Your ministers get into yeah. government. The king appoints a prime minister, which is the, a minister among the ministers. So I choose one of the ministers that are voted to become the prime minister. Hmm. Okay. And um, would uh wait? Let me quickly think. Would each minister have like a special task assigned to them? Um, i.e. A uh, climate minister, uh, um, let's just say, minister of construction or something like that. Or would they? Yeah, just... it would be preferable if oh. it would be preferable if ministers could specialize. But if ministers just want to govern, that's okay too. For if okay. if it, it would, it's just it's really up to the minister to decide what they want to do. I'm not going to force people to to specialize because it creates a pressure on people. But if a minister wants to specialize, they can specialize. Okay. Um, last question. Um, what will... Let, let me think. Um, what, how many ministers will there be? Fourteen. And like, what? Hmm? Fourteen ministers. Uh, currently in the governing council, there's 18 people, so there would be a, a cutback of four people. Uh, so basically, um, each town gets a representative based on their, their town size. So Sarah Fellows has 44 people. Per 10 people, they get one representative. Uh, okay, so and for the people who, are, people who are saying, and for the people who are saying uh, that they don't have even 10 people in their claim, they would just below gets one person. So even if you have Okay. Even if you have eight people in your group, you can still get one representative. As long as you have ten or less, you can get one representative. And as long as you have town status. And um, what, what, uh, what tasks would be assigned to the ministers? No, no like, what tasks would like each... Hmm? Each oh. minister would be assigned... Uh, each minister, really gets to choose what they want to do because oh, I, okay. the people dif specialize in different... For example, Dry's iPop specializes in foreign diplomacy. He likes to talk to people from different countries and kind of make things like that. 